We're on our way. <laughs> I wish I was. You're just gonna have to come and visit me. Put that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. All that kind of potion. Just my kind of key. Keep it on me. Just in by the potion. Love it, Mr. Potion. So. I made it to JFK and I'm super hungry so I got sushi because why not? Being sort of halfway to my destination if you will, um, I'm starting to see Israelis in the airport and I actually met someone that I know, her and her kids and it's funny when you feel like you've been away for so long and you haven't been a part of that, the world that you actually belong to and you feel sort of that you're not entirely sure how you fit in anymore. It's been really interesting as an adult to live in America for over a year and see what's changed and see how much I've changed. I'm part Jewish Israeli, part American, and I want to take you guys on a journey that I'm going through um, to discover what that means. I'm not an expert on all things Israel. I'm sure that everyone could outdo me in a second. This is what I do know. I know that God calls every person to be in a place that they call home. Now, I don't know if home is external or internal or both, and if you can perfectly have them both at the same time. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm really curious to see how I feel when I land in Israel after not being there for over a year. I've really missed my family and my friends and the food <laughs> and I'll miss the people here in the States because they've been really really good to me and so this is the journey that I'm going on I will update you guys about what I feel when I feel it I had to say like a million times that everyone would sit down sit down sit down I think I feel really at home right now because whenever you have people that just do whatever is in their mind it's Israeli. Good morning. It is about 6 a.m. I woke up around 5 30 so not too bad um and i thought why not seize the day if already i'm jet lag so i took my bible and i'm sitting outside can't really see it right now but it's basically i'm on one mountain this oh, this over there is the other mountain oh stinky junior junior Bo. Psst, psst, psst. come here no? Oh, okay. Little snob. Don't be fooled. I do not do this every day. Um, even when I lived here before. I'm a person who very much likes their sleep. But I think uh, a good habit that I'm trying to start is be consistent in my spiritual life and have spiritual discipline. So why not do that with a beautiful sunrise? So it is day three of being back home and I am trying to figure out how I feel about being back home. I thought that I would feel maybe more strange 
it's not as weird as I thought. Um, but also that's maybe because most of my environment here has stayed the same. So if I go into the city, into Jerusalem, that might change. But it's a good sign to see that um, that I have changed. I was going through my closet yesterday, the things that I had left behind, and half of the things are really, more than half the things I'm getting rid of, I'm going to donate them because they're not me anymore. Like I've really outgrown the person that I was when I left. It's easier to see later on how you've changed. And I think physical things really help us to have that comparison. Sort of a physical representative of how things change. And so I'm going to go through my closet and take out all the things that I bought out of my five suitcases. I promise you I'm not materialistic. I really am not. But things here are like two to three times more expensive. And so I'm like, you know what? Like my sister says, buy nice or buy twice. So I bought the things that I wanted so that I'll have them for many years to come. And um, it was worth the investment. On my hopefully last days of quarantine, I've been stuck in the house for a few days. Hopefully tomorrow I can go and get a PCR test to prove that I still do not have COVID. But behind me is my favorite view in the whole wide world. I know a lot of people don't like the desert, but I absolutely love the desert. I think it's where I sort of found God in life. So I guess I'm trying to recap how I feel about being here and I think the truth is I still don't know. I think it takes about a year to get used to being anywhere and that's how much how long it took me to get used to being in Texas <laughs> and by the time I got used to it I had to leave so I think the question of what home is and what makes you feel at home I think it's something that will take time to discover but I would love to know if you guys have ever moved to a different country or moved away from somewhere and came back and had to discover for yourself what home felt. Um, I can take all the advice that I can get right now. But I had a dream and in this dream, I'm sitting sort of on the floor with a friend and I see my dad praying for people. And he comes to me and this is sort of odd, but he sort of lifts me up sort of by my head and lifts me up and puts me sort of like standing and he prays for me that I would have great great courage and I sort of woke up from that dream and sort of felt like okay I get the prayer courage part of it but what about the sort of weird lifting me up by, by my head to get me on my feet and then I understood that it's like in the Psalms um, that he says that he's the lifter of your head and he is your honor and he is the one that defends you and so I think I'm realizing that that was God's way of telling me, I am the lifter of your head wherever you go, so that wherever you set your foot, you would feel at home. So maybe that's a good place to start. I think it is.